G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Got a couple of hours up my sleeve this morning. This rain's come in, bucketed down overnight. It's a bit of a lull at the moment, there's more coming. I asked the boys if they want to come for a flick. You know, we've done family stuff all week. I haven't really caught many fish. You know, I don't know if I'll use the footage I've already got, put it up in something, or if I smack them now and have a good session, I'll just have that. But I'll see how we go. I'm fishing a little creek here I haven't fished before. Just gonna throw the gold shrimp. So I've run out tied. Main target will be flathead, but probably get an estuary cod or a grunter or something. But yeah, it's gonna make the most of it while it's not bucketing down. See how we go. Got no idea where I'm going here. Google Maps and Google Earth shows there's a, there's a creek out here somewhere. Whoa, <laughs> seriously slippery, crabs everywhere, they're all out about because of the fresh water in the holes, well, there's not too many footprints out here so might be good fishing, although you can get up into it from the creek. I chose not to. Here we go, a bit of water. Could be on here. Onto a snag or two. Look at that runoff coming out of the mud. That's why the crabs don't like it. All the fresh water filling their holes. Oh, stingray. And that was what I was after, trying to spear for shark bait the other day. An imperfect size. Make our way down towards the mouth and then hopefully find a shallow enough flat cross in and get on them and work our way back up. Keep sound like there's a boat trying to push their way up in here. Like these systems are just sand. Surprising there's ever any water in here. But there's been noise coming from the mouth like, don't push up here, that tide's still dropping out. You got Buckley's. Yeah, dead set. Are they trying to get in here? Come on, give us a fish. I haven't caught a fish since I've been up here. Took the boys the other day, Ben got his first flathead. Had a last ditch attempt at one of the spots we've used to fish, but had boats and people all through it. Missed all the bites on the shark setup. Due for one. It's bloody real. I've changed that many bearings in here. There's something I'm missing. <laughs> Crazy rocky edge there. Surely there's an estuary cord sitting along that. Oh, there we go. Saw him charge up. Tiniest little cod. There you go. It was bound to happen along that bit of rock. <laughs> Tiniest dude. Oh dear. Better get a shot of him. Yeah, pretty little fish. That's one. First fish of the trip. Let's get a couple more. Man, that is an old crab pot. 
See if there's any flatty lies up on you. Yep. <laughs> God, for sure. Saw a little patch of rock over there. I was like, oh yeah, there'll be a cod on that. <laughs> and of course, a little cod. See if he's got a mate lives over there with him. A little isolated rock bar. Further north, it would be good, be jacks and bigger cod sitting on there, but. Yep. As soon as I dropped, ah, oh, damn it. There's another cod. As soon as I dropped it over that drop off. Yep, there's a fish. This feels like a flathead. Oh, it's a cod shaking his head. He was shaking his head like a little flat end. Gold spot estuary cod. Can catch cod. There he goes. Had me fooled for a flat end, that guy. There we go. Better cod. <laughs> You would have followed out that little guy going, what's going on here? Couldn't help himself. Another gold spot. I'll try and get a black spot in a second, mix it up a bit, eh? Cutting sick doing doughies. There he goes. Can't help but feel if I want a flathead, I gotta make a move. Yep. Are there any mud whelks up through this stuff? Oh, yeah, there's a couple. Oh, there's a few mud whelks in here. Mud whelks. I do enjoy eating these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one I'm holding, ten, eleven, twelve. A few of them there. Bugger it, I'm gonna collect some mud whelks here. All right, there we go. I got my limit of mud whelks. Can't collect them in Moreton Bay. So, so anyone I come up north, I get the chance to eat these things and I love them. I've done a flathead catch and cook mud whelk flats fishing video. If you look for flats fishing mangrove forage, I think it is, you'll find me cooking them up. So I'm gonna take them home and that'll be my little afternoon snack. Tasty. Alright, made a move. Check it out. The other day, there was boats and people everywhere through here. There is nobody here. It's still school holidays, there's still everyone up here, but no one is prepared to be out in the rain. So, I got the place to myself. I'm prepared to get wet. I'll be able to flick this stretch that I like. I'll be able to flick the creek. No one else has been in it all day. Like. Yeah, go above and beyond. Be prepared to do what others aren't. Alright. 
Not a bloody soul out here. How good is it? All right, let's find a flathead. This is where we found those big lies last time we were up here. It's a long time between drinks, but... Here we go. Flathead lie. About a 45, 50. Another flatty lie. Smaller fish. Come on. Give me a break. Mm, flathead lie here. Two of them. Yep, now it's raining. Flathead lie there. It's the little guy. Come on. Oh no, oh thank you, that was lucky. One last attempt to hit this coffee rock. With no boats driving over it, it might have some fish on it. Yes, finally. Stay on there, buddy. There's a flathead. It's off the coffee rock. <laughs> finally, finally got a little flooded. <laughs> yes, oh, it's cool. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. There we go, finally done it. Got a flooded. Persevered, persevered through the rain. It's, uh, it's nice now, but uh, I'm definitely wet. Yeah, I was gonna head in, I was walking, I was gonna cut across the shallow part of the creek. I figured, no, I'll just hit that coffee rock. You know, no boats are driven over it. Yeah, it's paid off. That'll do us. That's the end of the session now. Happy with that. That was cool. The things you see when you're fishing. <laughs> 